When you decide to get happy, you got to look for things in life to give you joy. Now, I, I'm constantly looking for humor. I hope you will laugh. I hope you'll take care of all of you. A friend of mine was substitute teaching. She went into the classroom and she said, boys and girls, I am your substitute teacher. One little child got so excited, went to the reading lab the next period and went up to a mutual friend of ours and said, guess what? Our real teacher's sick, but today we got a prostitute teacher. <laughs> I have another friend who teaches children of inmates. And she said, Jane, you wouldn't believe these kids have heard it all. I love them and they love me. After spring break, I was telling my class, y'all wouldn't believe what happened. I got up one morning to eat breakfast, and there was a great big old snake wrapped around the leg of my kitchen table. One little boy said, what'd you do? She said, well, I ran next door to get the hoe. He said, well, what did she do? <laughs> when I went to get my concealed weapons license, I called up my friend Penny, and y'all, she is so good about taking notes and following instructions, and so I'm telling you, she had everything written down, did exactly what the instructor said, and she got to put it into action. And when two weeks later, she got pulled down to the low country of South Carolina. A little cop comes up. Don't you hate it when the young ones get you? <laughs> I got stopped one time, and I looked at the guy, and I said, Lord, I got more facial hair than you do. <laughs> How old are you? That did not help my cause, I will tell you that. So Penny did exactly what our instructor said, kept her hands on the steering wheel, looked straight ahead. Finally, the cop just starts knocking on the window. She said, I'm going to roll down my window. <laughs> she put her window down. She said, officer, I have a concealed weapon. He said, yes, ma'am, where is it? She said, at home. <laughs>